So in this occasion, we will have to give our presentation with the title Numerical Study of Physical Characteristics of New Material Soatic, Sumai Elastic Plastic. Before we start our presentation, before that, let's introduce our team. My name is Raden Muhammad Rizky Agustian Shah and my partner. Dara Pujaka Suma with our advisor, Ibu Nurpan Mithya Sukti SPDMT, and also Pak Mun Sukarno Putra SPD. Let's we start our presentation for today. Indonesia is the fourth most populated country in the world. It can be denied that the needs of people and the level of environmental pollution in Indonesia also increased. No exception, most pollution caused by plastic waste. Plastic can cause new problems because it is easily torn due to its inelastic properties and it is not easily to broken. In fact, because of this, specifically in South East Sulawesi three years ago, a dead whale found in a castle with a lot of plastic waste in its abdominal. Thus, we choose to make natural materials an alternative to petroleum as a plastic raw materials. For example, 100 cultivars of Sansarviera trifasciata has spread extracted its cellulose, which will be used as the main material for making this plastic. So, for the objective of our research, are for the first is to determine how to manufacture slatik, and the second is to analyze the physical characteristic of slatik as a new semi-elastic material, and the third is to analyze the mechanical properties of slatik in terms of its modulus of elasticity, and the last is to find out relation between sansevieria trifasciata extract and selective characteristic. After we know the objective in this research, let's move to the basic of ingredients that we need to make selective. For the first is PVA or polyphenol alcohol. The reason why we choose this substance because of it has characteristics are flexible and aromatic, biodegradable and biocompatible. The use of PVA by biomedical and pharmaceutical is increasing because the substance is eco-friendly and can dissolve even if it only use water. PVA also affect the tensile strength value but reduce the value of the percent of elongation. And the second is HPMC or hydroxyl propyl methyl loss that has function is as stabilizer from formation and forms a thin layer of slatic so that it can be easy to printing and speed up drying. The third is the main of our composition in this research, which is Sansevieria trifasciata. Sansevieria trifasciata can be used as a material that can increase the modulus of elasticity in this product because the higher levels of cellulose will affect the level of elasticity of the product. And the last is glycerin that has function as a plasticizer so that make our product less rigid. Let's jump to the next part of this research that called by methodology. This is procedure to make the gel of slatic, but because we have subtilized and made the extract of Sansevieria trifasciata, we are directly measuring all the ingredients with the equipment that have prepared before. After measure all the ingredients, we continue to mix all the ingredients here. For the first is, we put PVA into the beaker, and then HPMC also. After that, we pour the aquades with the volume 100 milliliters. Don't forget to turn on the magnetic stirrer and directly mix PVA and HPMC. For this part, we waiting until the temperature in become 100 degrees Celsius. And VA also HPMC blend it well. After that, we can add some ingredients others. If the gel already done, we can directly forming the gel with this plate and also dry it for two days and later the gel 
become sheet of plastic like this that called by platic. We did the test based on ASTM D double H two O two with the requirements to perform specimen test. From the formula, we can take the result of 0% is the lowest density and the highest modulus of elasticity, and for 5% is the lowest modulus of elasticity and the highest density. And these are the graph for relation between density and transfer activation extract, and the graph for relation between selective modulus and concentration of the sensor fiera Okay, let's move to the next slide, which is the conclusion of this research. So, for the conclusion, our for the first is the relation between density and extra of sensor fiera from the graph is directly proportional to the concentration. Thus, the extra of sensor fiera is related to the physical and mechanical characteristic of slatic. And the second is the relation between extra of sensor fiera trifasciata and modulus of elasticity of slatic from the graph is, is inversely proportional to the concentration. So the modulus produced by this material is in the modulus constant between rubber and plastic. There are some suggestions from our team research to further research, which are the first is you can find the waterproof of our prototype, and the second one is you can find the modulus book. That's all from us. Thank you for your watching. Lastly, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.